good, keep doing it, but don't overdo it because then you go on the other side of actually being competent with it. Does that make sense? Okay. So hitting drivers, the things we know through the help of TrackMan, that something descending isn't good because this adds spin, doesn't it? If that ball's sitting there and I hit down on them and I have, I'm going to have too much spin, I think I hit a couple of decent, reasonably low spin balls there, right? And, you know, collecting the ball somewhere out of the middle of the face. Do we want the, you know, this kind of behavior way across it or way inside out? We don't. And you say, well, Martin, we know that. How do I fix it? Well, we've been fixing it to a degree with everybody. By, like, for example, if I pick on Tim, you know, and if we have some structure in the trail arm rather than overbending, when we get a little too overbent, Tim, it's pretty easy to, as soon as we start to use rotation to get the club head, club head's too high, too late. The only thing you can do is really hit down and across it, right? That Revolution Golf tip that went out yesterday, we filmed a week or two ago out here, and it was just the whole idea that there's some elements of, you know, it's not casting, it's just not holding too long. Because everybody wants, if they figure they, you know, a cast is really when this trail wrist gets flat prematurely. This isn't casting. This is just a golf club that's unwinding with my pivot, right? Does that look like a cast that it passed my hands? No, right? So we're trying to have you guys have the right sequence of motion. Paramount, centeredness of strike, right? If you hit it in the middle of the face, that's pleasing. You're going to like that. If you overdo it and miss the face, the risk isn't worth the reward, is it, right? So with the driver, the things we have to understand is it's the ball we play the most forward within our stance. That's why the toolbox is helpful. If you have a couple of aim sticks, put them down like a tee. The, if we play the ball too far forward here, guys, can, it's... Everybody thinks it's really forward, we can hit up on it, but the problem is you really can't get to it, right? So to have, if you want to have draw bias path, you have to have the golf ball somewhere within the feet so that we can catch it on the way inside out to the ball with a rev, re, uh, relatively shallow path. Now, we call this the Mo Norman technique, and you guys can play around with this. Watch where I'm aiming this now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everything is aimed to the right, as though a golf ball... A shadow of a golf ball is right here. Okay, so why would I do this? I better tee that up a little higher. Anybody want to <clears throat> offer a su suggestion of why I might do this? So see, well, TrackMan really doesn't care where I'm aiming, agreed? If I aim to the right and I swing, isn't my path going to the right? Don't I need a rightward path to hit a draw? Okay, most of you all know that, right? You need some friction event to hit a draw. Most of you try to aim square, but really, well, how are you aiming? Pelvis back, shoulders open, weight back. So by having this kind of rightward aim bias, if I hit this golf ball, if I collect this golf ball as though I'm setting up to hit this one right where I'm tapping, watch what happens to this relationship and watch what happens to the elevation. Okay. So there's a pretty high bombing draw out there, isn't it? So that's how Mo Norman hit every ball. Famous Canadian guy. Okay, so he hit. He didn't aim straight on any on every shot. He aimed. Oh, I'm sorry. He aimed every shot straight, with the exception of one, this one, because he had it to where he caught it more on the upswing, launched it higher, kept it in the air longer, and went its farthest. And sometimes when you get north of 50, that's a great way to... Did that, those numbers come out, Jim? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, you hit it 270 yards at uh, 102 miles an hour. So that's a long way for 102 miles an hour. Hit up okay. Two degrees. Um, you know, yeah. all, all pretty good spin rate, 2100. Like all yeah, so spin low spin, there. reasonably high launch, tons of carry. And that's what we're looking for with drivers. Am I trying to hit it out of my shoes? I'm not. Jim hit a couple hard ones. Not that hard though. Don't kill. Don't kill anybody. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna peek it back off that a little bit, guys. Cause think about it. It's a pretty bright red pad. That thing feels good. Tour players, you know, they can contort, side bend, and extend. You know, Rory can do all that to hit it, to get that rightward path that he wants, right? So for you guys, getting that rightward path by, you know, turning to the right. So watch how I do this. It's easier. So I'm gonna turn this way. I don't want to turn. Over so that way. Why don't you want to turn over that way, Pro? Because then that's, that's just going to aim me out over here to the right. It doesn't really do anything. See if his left foot went away from where the ball line is? Okay. He just aimed to the right. I'm just, then you would hit it to the right, and then you'll go, that doesn't work, right? So take the mindfulness to... Um
understand how you got to do that just real quick. Okay, so let me know. Yeah. See how I did that? See how fast I did that? I do that when I go out and play. I just did it right here. See that? So I'm kind of shuffling in. I, I, I go a tick to the right. I, I pretend there's a little phantom golf ball right there. It's that, not a, that moves the ball not. up. Yeah. It moves the ball left. So our, right, our massive rightward swing isn't really hitting it out to right because doesn't every circle have to eventually make a left-hand turn? So that little adjustment, you're, and it's a tricky setup to learn. I'm going to be candid, but so is playing guitar. You know, so is anything you're all good at. You're all good at something, right? It took a while. Well, he's purposely aiming to the right. And when he jockeys everything to the right, the ball, in essence, moves up. So there's a healer. Okay. Yeah, so that one was way down there. So you guys see how that affects where that ball's going to occur. So we didn't talk about gear effect, but that ball, there's plenty of rightward path there, guys, and that ball didn't draw because he hit it on, on the heel of the golf club. Okay. So these are 160 miles an hour for Jim, which is waving at it for him, okay? So that is club, what's that? Oh, ball speed 170. So the, you know, he hit a, a spin. He carried it 275, hit it 281. So too much spin. So a bit more healy. So you can see, like, he's not getting optimized strikes, even though they're just rocketing out there because he's not hitting dead nuts in the middle. And he's trying to. I don't think he's trying to hit it on the heel. You know. That was 120 miles an hour. Okay, there's a goodie. So club path, there's 120 miles an hour, attack angle, fairly level, um, smash ball speed 170. So there's longer than most of your tour guys, 300 yards, okay? And then his long last week was 460. You know, so don't hurt yourself trying to, but anyway, enough about the driver, the key elements, you guys. Level at the bottom. Okay, why would, we, why would we be steep at the bottom? You know, if we're trying to do something the club stays above the hands too long, it's pretty tough to be shallow at the bottom. All right, yeah. Can these guys use gear effect to their advantage at all? They sure can. They can sure use gear. Great question. So, i tell you what, the, as Martin Hall says, where's the, the death star on this golf club? Do you know? Into the heel. Into the heel. You want to you wanna just hit it, have faster ball speed and hit draws? hit from the sweet spot toward the toe. And that's a skill. So we're gonna, what we're going to do, you guys, and this is something Andrew Rice showed me, because he does it with all his students, and it's a blast. Okay, so I buy everybody a cocktail at 4.30 today after we have our little scramble. So when we spray this face up, okay, and it's not a race, I want to see who can make four swings, okay, and do this. Hit right here. Make a little cross right across. And I want to see, on purpose, kind of a toey low, heely low, toey high, heely high. And I know that you think that's nuts, but that's an acquired skill. Because a lot of guys, if you don't want to hit it, if you don't want to hook it, guess what? Hit it in the heel. Pretty tough to hook it. If you want to hook it, hit it in the toe. So if I was going to hit one in the toe, let's see what the ball does. If I sauce one out there with a little bit of a toe hit. Okay, so that didn't hook much, but see I got that out in the toe, yes. right? Okay, so I mean I could dance around the face pretty, you know, I, I should do that more when I play to be honest with you, I just try to hit it out the middle of the face. But to use, uh, use it for your advantage, let's get you hitting some drivers, not many, like 25 each is about all, okay? Coaches will work with you a little bit, and again, most of your fixes have come in what we just discussed in the last two and a half days, okay? And then uh, let's spray up some faces, have some fun with it. Go ahead and cr make a cross across the driver and uh, have a little fun. Question. And the toe question. Is, yeah, this, uh, toe is a hook. Healy's going to produce fades every time. The heel is closer to the shaft. The heel is closer to the shaft. And it actually kills the speed. So think about this. What's moving faster? What's moving faster? The toe is moving faster. The toe's moving faster. So, the toe is, is turning the corner. It's like the, it's the horse that has to go the fastest, you know what I mean, in a race. You wouldn't want to run around the... So if you're trying to produce the draw, you hit on the toe. A little bit. 
I mean, you could have face, you could hit in the middle of face and hit a perfect draw. But I mean, you can use gear effect to your advantage. You really can. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. As far as the setup. Yeah. When you drop your right foot back a little bit to the target line. Mm -hmm. Damn right, man. You want your you want your club path going to the right. If you just do this, you're not doing anything. Everything moves to the right. Except you, and you pivot off your left foot. Amy, hook him up. Yeah.